Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I got to put up a quick word of uh, prayer request here for us. Uh, this sounds like a very serious situation, like uh, with uh, Pastor Dave. Okay, uh, Paul Murray has put up this comment saying, My mom's best friend, and of course my friend for sure, just got her results from the doctor, and it's not good. Cancer has spread all over her body and through her bones. She has been through so much besides the C word. Please, please, please say a prayer for Melva Beeman. So she's had COVID but didn't die with all this cancer. I don't that I'm not to take away from the prayer request, but that just goes to show you how not deadly the COVID is. It's just coronavirus but it will be anyway I'm gonna leave that that let's pray for he says please 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 say a prayer for Melva Beeman thank you sister okay so in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I pray right now for Melva and I ask you to be in total and complete control Father Jesus Holy Spirit only you can heal in a case like this. So I pray that Melva is strengthened and that your will be done. That if it is your will to take her before destruction comes, if she's not part of the first rounders, you're taking her because she's a godly woman and you want to spare her this destruction then I ask you to let them keep her comfortable and take her quietly in the night while she, or while she's sleeping like my mom. My mom was thrilled to get her diagnosis of metastatic CA. She was thrilled to be going home to Jesus. We don't know if Mel was in that position. I don't know. Only you know her heart. So I pray that you prepare her heart or heal her completely. Whatever is your will, I pray these things in Jesus' precious and holy name. Amen and amen. Of course, I'm sure you all can think of other things to say. Um, not Cancer is not always a death sentence, but in this case, it sounds like it is all over her body, just exactly like with my mother. It had got spread from her pancreas through her blood to, into her blood and to into her bones while well, her spine her back started hurting and that's how they found it and it was already too late to do anything they told her and we all managed to get there in time to see her at her nursing home she was in assisted living in North Carolina and I got to go see her and then I got to go for her funeral the Lord worked that all out and that she died with this little smile on her face. I got there 30 minutes after she passed. And I know that, that wearing a cross is, is not, some people are totally even against that as Christians, but I took mine off and put it on her. I just wanted people that handled her to know this woman's a Christian. It was a very sweet moment. Not bittersweet, it was sweet. Because my mom wanted to go. She was so ready. And when she found out, she, the doctor told her there was nothing they could do. She said, you mean I get to go home to be with Jesus? See, that was her attitude. But not everybody is there. So let us pray that Melva gets there. If the Lord God Almighty doesn't choose to heal her, which would be a huge miracle at this point, but he could do it. He could take leprosy away like that, and that was, you know, back in those days when he was killing lepers, healing lepers, leper, lepers, not leopards, <laughs> not the big cats. I'm sorry, I'm rambling. It's probably the steroids. My friend said I was talking fast. I didn't know it. Anyway... <clears throat> I'll end it at that. Thank you all for your prayers in advance. God bless each and every single one of you. Okay, bye for now. I'll talk to you later.